Hey everyone, this is Allie and welcome to The Common Room. Today I have a very exciting video for you guys as I am going to be having my very first magical, oh God, these are heavy, one minute, oh my God. <laughs> what did she send me? It's so heavy. Okay guys, I might not be able to pick this up, but I have a very magical PO unboxing for you. <laughs> Okay guys, so a couple of months ago, I did update my YouTube information to include a PO box. That way I had a place where I could send and receive magical postcards from all of the amazing people that I've met in the Harry Potter community. So I was so excited to have a few packages and cards come into the PO box. And of course I'm going to have to open them on my channel. If you guys send me a postcard, I am definitely going to do my best to write you back. I think that's just so cool. And you know, nobody writes letters or anything these days and I just find it very fun. And I'm very excited to be able to write you guys back who have sent me things already. But as you can see, I do have a couple of packages that were a little heavy. And then I do have a few cards as well. So I'm gonna start off with the cards that I have and then get into the packages. And yeah, just go through everything that I was able to pick up from my PO box. So the first letter that I have here comes from The Food Cat in California. Now I do follow The Food Cat on Instagram. I believe she follows me too. <laughs> so I'm very excited to see what she has in here for me. Now before I open it, this is perfection. Look at the sticker that she has on the back of her card. It's a Slytherin sticker. I love it. I have to not rip the sticker. Oh, it looks like a Christmas card. I'm so excited. It's almost Christmas time. This is actually the first Christmas card that I have received. I love that it's a magical one. So you can see it says Merry Christmas. Oh, there's stuff falling out of it. We have a Food Cat sticker. That's so cool. I need to get stickers. It says, Dear Friends, share your Christmas with those you are fondest of. Wishing you the best from Cat. That's so exciting. I love that it's just a little Christmas card. Now I feel like I need to send out Christmas cards to all of my Harry Potter friends. I'm gonna have to look for some cute Christmas cards now. But thank you so much for sending this to me. This seriously made my day. And I am very excited about this little Food Cat sticker. I might have to, I might put it, I don't know. I'm gonna keep it with the card for sure. I'm not sure if I will actually take it off and put it on the card. But I think that's so cool that you have, wait, is it a sticker? It's actually not a sticker. It is just like a little card. It's like the tiniest little business card and I love it. It says the food cat, like, share, and subscribe. So definitely go check her out on Instagram and YouTube. But that's our first card from my PO box. So the next card that I have is from my amazing friend, Jo. You know, she loves to spoil me and send me things. Now she did send me this one a little while back and I did already tell her that I was gonna save it so I could do it on a PO unboxing. So let's see what Joe has sent me. Joe always kills it with the cards. So we have this Harry Potter card that says Quidditch team. And you can see Harry on there. Oh, I forgot, yeah, she was sending me. So this is a card, but it has like a little something inside of it that I'm so excited about. Okay, let me read the card first. It says, hello, Allie. Here is your letter to Harry from Sirius. Hope you enjoy it. Love, Joe. And it says, P.S. The small one with the wax has it on the inside also. Okay, I'm gonna have to look. Oh, I bet you can open it. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna wanna open it, but let's see, okay. You guys know I love Sirius. And she sent me, now I believe that she actually purchased this from someone on Etsy. I will try to get that information and put it in the description of my video for you. But it says, Harry, I couldn't risk sending Hedwig ever since the World Cup, the ministry's been intercepting more and more owls and she's too easily recognized. We need to talk, Harry, face to face. Meet me in the Gryffindor common room at one o'clock this Saturday night. Make sure you are alone, serious. P.S. By the way, the bird bites. And it's the little letter from Sirius on the parchment paper. Oh, I love it. This is another thing that can definitely go on a Marauder's shelf. I have the startings of one, you guys. It's just sitting, waiting for me to figure it out. 
but I absolutely love this. Jo knows me too well because she knows I love Sirius. But she said this one with the wax seal has it on the inside too. I'm assuming it's maybe the same letter. Let me see if I, I don't want to open it. I'm not going to open it. I'm assuming that it's the same letter. So she has one for me. And then she has one with the wax seal. She's just the best. I can put them together. And yes, I'm very excited about it. Thank you so much, Joe. This is something that is 100% going on my shelves. All right, guys, so now I have two other packages that I'm gonna open for you. Now you will see that this first package, I have cut it open, but I cut it open and as soon as I looked inside of it, I was like, yeah, I have to wait to open this on a video because I can tell that there's some really cool things in here. Now this one is from Yasmin. I hope I am saying your name correctly. Now she did reach out to me, I think before I even put my PO box on my YouTube, asking me if I had a PO box because she wanted to send me some things. So thank you so much. You definitely didn't have to do that, but I am so excited to see what you have in here. As you can see, I'll show you, this is all that I saw opening it and I did not, I did not get into anything because it just looked way too nice. You can see there's little packages in there and a little letter. Oh, and I, I just heard something. It was like liquid. I feel like maybe she told me she makes potions. Oh, if there's potions in here, I'm gonna be so excited. Okay, let's start off with this beautiful letter that she sent me. You can see it's just this little orange envelope, but on the back, it has the prettiest wax seal. It's all like, the prettiest rainbow colors. They're kind of like a purple and orange theme. Oh, I love that. I love the wax seal. I need to practice using wax seals because when I send you guys letters back, I need to make them very magical. Oh, it says, thank you. It says, hi, Allie. My name is Jasmine and I am a huge fan of your channel. I wanna start off by saying a huge congratulations on surpassing 1000 subscribers that is an incredible milestone. Thank you so, so much. I'm still very, very excited about it. it. says, I recently started designing and making potions and I thought I would send you some. I designed and aged the labels myself as well as bottling and coming up with ideas for how the contents of the bottle will look. I love the swirly color changing potions, but also experimenting with different consistencies. I have started selling my potions on Etsy my shop name is Bloodworth and Blythe, and I'll make sure to link her shop in my description. Again, congrats on a thousand subscribers. Here's to many more. Thank you for making your viewers' days magical with your amazing videos. Sincerely, Yasmin. Thank you so much. That just completely made my day, and I am so excited to see what your potions look like. The packaging is already fantastic because it feels so magical. And like this wax seal, you did the best job with. So you can see it's packaged all nicely and you have this black wax seal with the Hogwarts crest. And you can see that she like brushed it with the gold. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so excited too, like the way you placed it because I'm gonna save that wax seal, that's beautiful. Okay, let's open this up and see what we have. I'm loving the shape of the bottle already. Ooh, ooh. It's so good. Oh, I am so excited. Okay, you guys, so this is a polyjuice potion and she did an amazing job aging the label. I can see when I swirl this too, it's gonna be swirly inside. But it has this, it says polyjuice potion from the apothecary of Horace E.F. Slughorn. I love Slughorn. I am not a Snape fan, but I am a huge Slughorn fan. Brewed in October of 1996, and it says warning highly potent. Oh, and then there's this little thing right here that says essence. I think that would be essence of Dittany if my Harry Potter knowledge is not failing me. I feel like you use that for Polyjuice Potion. You can see that she's wrapped the top of it with this black string, which really kind of makes it look even darker. And then she has black wax and green wax on the top of it. And then she has the Hogwarts crest again up there with that gold brushed on top of it. Or no, it's silver, I'm sorry, silver brushed on top of this one. 
Oh, it's so good. Like, it's so good. I'm very excited for it. Let me shake this around because I can see. Ooh, that green. The green color is fantastic. Oh, you guys, look. It's so pretty. It's like the perfect green color. Oh, you're doing fantastic. I'm definitely gonna have to take a look at your shop because this is an amazing potion. Yeah, this is going straight on the potion shelf. I'm so excited with that one. All right, guys, she has one other package in here and it seems to be a big package and it has a little note on it. So you can see the presentation on here is fantastic. You've got this black seal again, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm in love with this black wax. I love how it's just a very, very dark black color and the gold and silver that you've brushed on top of it, fantastic. But it does have a little note on here. This is Allie. I hope this package arrives safely. I have sent you some dragon blood. Very expensive, but incredibly useful. Romania is breathtaking this time of year, but the dragons are more ruthless as they are anxious for their eggs to hatch. I hope all is well. Best, Charlie Weasley. No one gets anything Charlie Weasley, so this 100% makes my day. This guy? The note itself is for sure going on my Weasley shelf. Let's see what this dragon blood looks like. That's so, I love that. Okay, I hate even just undoing this stuff because it's packaged so nicely. Oh my goodness, this thing is huge. Again, very nicely packaged up so I don't show anything leaking, which is wonderful. I have no idea what the potion looks like, but I can see the wax seal and OMG, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's beautiful. I don't, I don't think this can go on my potion shelf. I have to find a very special place for this. But you guys, look at, look at all of it. Okay, so the potion itself, I can't tell. I don't think that this one is swirly, but it doesn't need to be because it's supposed to look like blood and it does look like blood. But look at this label. The dragon blood label is just crazy beautiful. And it has like, it looks like it has blood like speckled all over it. It says bottled by Bloodworth and Blythe, which is the name of her shop. See if I can read what this says. Extracted from a Hungarian horn tail, Romania by C. Weasley in the year of 1994. Oh, that's so cool. I love like this chain thing that's going on here. I feel like it, it just really gives off the whole, you know, like terrifying dragon vibe. And then it has the Weasley crest right here. Well, a crest with a W, which I'm assuming Charlie would use for what he bottles. Again, you have like this string kind of on the top and on the bottom. And I just really like that. I don't know if I've seen a lot of that. And so I think that's really cool. You guys, it has this awesome dragon charm on the neck of the bottle there. And then again, we have the wax coming off the top, which is so pretty. You have that dark red and then the black. And then look at this wax seal. It is again brushed with the silver, but it has a dragon on it. Let me show you what's actually in this bottle because it looks, it looks just like blood. And you can even tell, like I don't know what she did to make it do this, but you can see it kind of like the red color like staying on the inside of the bottle because it, you know, it's like thick and it doesn't just wash off like water, it stays. But look at how perfect that looks. Like if there was ever dragon blood, it would be that. It looks incredible, so realistic. Like I am so excited to get on your shop and see what else you have because I, I mean, I loved the polyjuice potion 
This one's my favorite just because I've not seen anything like this. Like this is a huge potion. I really love, thank you so much for sending me these. I definitely don't expect you guys to send me amazing things like this, but it is incredible and I appreciate it so much. Like these are going straight on my shelves. They're some of my favorite things that I've received. So thank you so, so much. Okay guys, so we have our very last package from our PO unboxing. And I think this is the heavy culprit. You can see this is about the size of a Joe box. She has sent me a big box of goodies again. Again, I should know what's in here, but I don't. I'm sure maybe I will remember if she's told me anything when I open it. But let me just go ahead and get it open up and see what the amazing Joe has sent me this time. So Joe has everything kind of hidden so we can't see it. But you can see there is a little sticker of Buckbeak, which is so cute. I wonder if I can save that. I can probably save it. I'm just gonna have all of these random like stickers and things from Joe that I have saved, but I don't care because they're very cute. Okay, we're just gonna start from the top. So we have the wrapping paper and we have this little sticker. This is a Flourish and Blots bookseller. And I feel like there's something framed in here. Let's see. Oh my goodness, I do know what this is because she showed me it and I'm so excited for it. Oh, you did such a good job on it, Joe. Okay, so this is a framed picture that she made and it's a little like a road sign of all the different places in the wizarding world. You have the Hogwarts Express, you have Gringotts and Hagrid's Hut, Ollivanders in the Forbidden Forest and Azkaban. And I do like that you can see the arrows are even like pointed in the right direction like Hagrid's Hut and the Forbidden Forest are all pointed in the same direction as Hogwarts. Ah, I love it. And she put like these little stones at the bottom. So it looks like, you know, it's actually, you know, out in the world, a little sign with some stones at the bottom of it. I love this. I don't know. I don't know if I will put this on a shelf. I might put this on my desk that's in my Harry Potter room. I'm gonna find a really good place for it, but I'm so excited. This looks so nice. All right, let's see what the next present is because that's what this feels like is presents. Oh, look at this sticker. It's a cauldron with this black and silver and white paper. This, I don't know what this is. It's some kind of like tray. <gasps> she knows me way too well, you guys. Look at this tray with the dark mark on it. And some little green flowers. This is awesome. This is another thing oh, I can decorate with this. Like I really need to use this in real life decor but I'm obsessed with it. I love everything dark mark. Thank you, Joe. I really, really like this. I did not know this was coming. So this is a surprise, but a very good surprise. <laughs> oh, I can take like to Thanksgiving. Like, oh. here's some little hors d'oeuvres. Don't eat them. They will kill you. <gasps> Ooh, I don't know what's in this, but I know it's going to be good. Look at this sticker and this wrapping paper. It's all Slytherin, Slytherin vibe. This feels, it feels kind of soft, but then not soft. I don't know if maybe it's just the wrapping paper because it's kind of thick. I do think she has a shirt or two in here for me. Maybe we have a shirt in here. Ooh, I see two shirts in here. I think I know what these are too. Let's pull this one up first. This one has like a green and gray vibe to it. <gasps> I'm gonna wear it so much, you guys. I'm so excited. She made me a dark mark shirt. It's like that baseball design with like the different colored arms, but I really like the color of the arms. Like I'm very excited about this. It says Morse Morde. 
Dark Mark Tattoo Studio. I just love this. I am 100% gonna wear this all the time. The colors are just perfect on it. And it's like a three quarter sleeve, which will be really good when I'm like filming inside, but it's cold outside, but it's not super cold inside. If that makes any sense. I'm just very excited about it. Now I think the next shirt might have the same design, like the same dark mark design, but it's all like different colors. So let's see. So on this one, she kind of asked me to start off with what colors I would like. And I was going for something like cream and white, but then she showed me it with this red color and I really liked it. Oh, it's so different, but I really like it together. So it's the same design, but you can see it's this cream colored shirt and it's like this brownish red color for the dark mark. Oh, I really like it. It's just different than like anything else that I have. And I will definitely be wearing this one a lot too. Mm, thank you so much, Joe. These are perfect. The shirts in the frame were really the only thing that I can even think that I knew she was sending me. And there are at least four other packages in here. There's something kind of cup shaped. Let's see what this is. <laughs> She's killing it with the dark mark stuff. I did not know this was coming and I love it. This is going to be like my go-to cup from now on. I love that it's just the simple black with the white dark mark like in your face. I'm just going to have everything dark mark and I'm very, very excited about it. So much stuff in here. There's another package I didn't even see. Okay, so this one's the same kind of wrapping paper, but it's something square and hard. Oh, she did show me this. So she got me this adorable little tin can of Harry Potter Pez dispensers. It's like a, yeah, it's like a little metal tin can. Now she sent me a message and she was like, I'm going to show you this because it's not what I thought that I bought you. And so she sent it to me and I was like, yeah, of course I'm going to love that. Those are adorable. And she was like, in the picture, there was, they were in the Hogwarts castle. And then she sent me something instantly afterwards. And she was like, never mind, the castle's on the back. <laughs> so the castle is beautiful. Like, I feel like I could definitely display this tin with the castle like this. It is so cute. But yeah, of course I love the little Pez dispensers. So thank you, Joe. I do love it. I love the castle on the back. They're so cute. Let's do this little, there's like three other little boxes in here, but there's this brightly colored one. So let's see what this is. It's making a noise. It's like jingling. Oh, she put it in this little black box. Oh, it's a potion. It has a little pumpkin on it. This is Hagrid's pickled pumpkin. And look, it has this little pumpkin, little charm on it. And it has a little acorn on the back of it. And inside, oh, it definitely looks like pickled pumpkin. I think it's gonna be kind of hard for you to see, but there are little pumpkins in there. There's like a little silver one on top. And there's some, there's just like some little clear orange pumpkins in there, but it's definitely meant to look like pickled pumpkin. Like you can see like all the little bits in there. It's such a good little Hagrid potion. I definitely think that's going to go on my Hagrid shelf because you have Hagrid's hut on the potion label. You know me, Hagrid is my all time favorite character. So I love this. All right, we have, I think just two other parcels. This one is like a long square package. I don't, I don't know what it could be. Oh, okay. I do know that she sent me these too. I just completely forgot about it. So she had, I have never opened like any of the mystery anything. And she did already open these, but they were duplicates. And so I don't have any of these. So she sent me two of her duplicate mystery wands. 
Now I'm very excited because these are the Death Eater special edition ones. So they have the little Death Eater masks and I don't even know which wand she sent me, but I'm just gonna be so excited for the mask. So let's see which one she sent. I do remember seeing this one on a few of the unboxing videos that I watched because I think it's called the Stallion Wand. These are actually nicer than I thought they would be. Like they're still pretty long. You can see that it has like the face of the stallion and it has these little runes up on it. So that's a really unique little wand. Comes with this little stand with a little dark mark on it. And you put your wand in here, I think. Oh, goodness. And then it comes with these crazy little Death Eater masks, which I'm just so excited about. And look how cool this one looks. Oh, I love these. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this on the stand because I really just like the masks, but what you're supposed to do with them is put them on the stand here. They just kind of slide on. I can figure out what I'm doing here. But you would display them like this. And then of course you can see that awesome mask right there. But yeah, these are really cool. Thank you so much for sending me these. Let me see what the other one is. I feel like I remember her saying she sent stallion one, I think is the name of it. But I don't remember what the other one was. So this one, I don't know. I don't know what the names of these are. But this one is really creepy. It has this reptile looking wand. It has like this weird little skull guy there. Very creepy, very dark artsy. But of course, let's see what mask we have. This is a pretty cool mask too. I feel like it's a little darker than the other one. It looks kind of scary. This is our mask for that wand. And then again, we would put it on the stand and display our wand like so. Those are super cool. I did see them at the store and I was very tempted to pick all of them up. But, you know, I always worry with mystery wands and mystery items, you know, getting a bunch of duplicates. So Joe, I am sorry you got duplicates, but thank you so much for sending them to me because I'm so excited for them. Okay guys, so I think we have our very last item from Joe. This is another square rectangly package. This is delivered by Alpost and has this really cute sticker of the Hogwarts Express. So let's see what she has in this very last one. It's very heavy. <gasps> I'm so excited. Joe, you didn't have to send me anything like this. But I can tell you I am so, so excited because I don't have anything like this. You guys, she sent me Harry Potter, the ultimate movie quiz. It's like this whole quiz game for Harry Potter for the movies. On the back it says important notice containing 1600 questions spanning all eight movies. The ultimate movie quiz will determine who are the real Harry Potter fans. I am so excited. I'm gonna make Chris play this with me all the time. Joe, we have to have, we have to have like a big Harry Potter meetup and a bunch of people need to come and we just need to sit down and play this game because I think it would be fun. <sighs> I feel like I just opened a bunch of Christmas presents and I feel like that's kind of what that package was, was a Christmas present from Joe. So thank you so, so much. I cannot wait to open this up, to open everything up wear my shirts. You guys, this was just such a fun PO unboxing. I love getting letters just to, you know, talk to you guys and I'll definitely be sending letters back. I got, you know, Joe, she spoils me. She sends me amazing things all the time. I got some more shirts. My favorite thing in the world is Harry Potter clothing. And this game, I got some incredible potions, Yasmin, Thank you so much. They are stunning. Yeah, I, you guys, I don't take this for granted. You guys sending me things, you don't have to do that. I would love to just send letters with anybody who wants to send any letters to me so I can talk to you guys about Harry Potter. 
Nerding Out It's Harry Potter is my all-time favorite thing. I will be doing more PO unboxings if anybody sends me letters. So I'll definitely wait, you know, until I have enough of them to open for a video. But if you guys do send me anything, again, I will try my hardest to send a letter back to you. Again, I will link Yasmin's Etsy store in my description, along with Joe's TikTok and the Food Cats Instagram information. But definitely let me know what you guys thought about all of the incredible things that I was sent today. I loved everything. Thank you guys so much for sending me these special things to open in my P.O. box. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos related to Harry Potter and the Wizarding World, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time in the common room.